didn't even recognize you on Riders, dog. I didn't know who the fuck look, you were. Look, I just, um, I don't know. I was, I was, I looked and I was like super way overweight for what they were telling me I was supposed to be doing. And I, I just started like, uh, I gave up drinking pop and shit. I don't really drink it no more. I just drink water and uh, beer every now and again. That's the shit, man. And shit, and it kind of just, that's what happened. I ended up losing some weight. I started drinking water, fuck soda, so hopefully I lose that. But y'all turned it out with Dark Lotus last night, so we'll play. I don't drink it, nigga. <laughs> now you just fucked up the joint. I should have kicked you. I should have kicked you in the face for that. I should have kicked you in the face for that. Next time. It ain't lit. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I don't do that to people. I don't do that to my family. Go ahead. I'm cool. But you definitely did not respect the purple. You know that, right? That is disrespecting purple. Uh, we got a question over here. No, straight up. I don't drink pop anymore. It's not. Come on, I'm out there with my fucking Jay and Shags on the last Happy Days tour. I was throwing nothing but mango, so that shit don't scare me. What up? I was wondering to know the San Tokyo Spa. What spa was you talking about? There's one that's right down off of motherfucking 94. I don't remember the motherfucking name of the shit. I've only been there one time. Straight up, but I have been to another one that was in uh, Philly, some shit. The first time I ever went was in Pittsburgh, oh and it was some wild shit, and I didn't know what was going on, but I went with a couple homies, and they were just like, yeah, just go in there and drop your fucking cash, and they'll do whatever you want. I, can't I was like, all right, and uh, it was some wild shit, and it's exactly what they said. I was like, okay, I'm out. But I did pick the high bitch. And I did strap up two rubbers. Now, come on, man. They're selling pussy, dog. Really. You know? That's a hooker. I'm not, I'm not ashamed to say I went and seen a hooker. Fuck. Basically. And she was tiresome. Tiny. I am. Nasty motherfucker. Fuck it. Hey, your shit's great and we love it and appreciate you doing it, but I'm curious, when we've all been fighting for so long to get our name off the gang list, why you named the new album Gang Ranks? Because I wanted to go right at them. I don't give a fuck what people say. That's bullshit. Fuck them. Fuck them. Are we really a gang? You want to hear some real shit? Wait till I drop my next record. I got a song on there called Calling This a Gang. You calling this a gang? We're not a gang, but what happens if we wild out and go and give them what they want? I'ma leave a fucking hole in their head. Give them what they want. I'ma make sure everybody is dead. Point your fingers, calling names. We're not a gang, but what happens if we wild out and go and give them what they want? I'ma leave a fucking hole in their head. Give them what they want. I'ma make sure everybody is dead. Cause that's the difference. They think we're a motherfucking gang, and that's why. I'm telling them straight up, you think this is what the fuck we are. What happens if we really were a gang? What happens if we really were a gang? We're fucking humongous. We ain't no gang. If it was real, we're a real gang, then what the fuck, you know? It would be crazy, it'd be serious. I just wanted to throw it in their face, that's the realness. And this song just didn't make the album, but straight up, that song has been done months. That was the first thing I thought of when everybody was saying that, when that gang shit came out. I was like, really? Really? We're a gang? All right, bitch, my next record is called Gang Rags. Fuck you. Straight up. I was mad, seriously. I'm like, straight up, you know what's even crazier? On that shit, on that little Nightline shit, that motherfucking cop bitch probably got it the closest to being right of what we are. She knew it, she was like, straight up, not everybody is crazy, not everybody's a fucking killer. It's just, there's some people in every fucking thing. It happens no matter what. Who knows what's gonna set anybody off? You know what I mean? Straight up. Something might set me off. I might become the real killer and start fucking people up. You never know. Right? That's good. What up, Blaze? What up? All right, man. Uh, like we said, we got a lot of love for you out in Salt Lake City. Hell yeah. 
I great gotta, salt hair. Hey, yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. I gotta ask you though, cause I mean, you know how word of mouth goes around. Everybody says that they arrested you for some bullshit in Salt Lake City. Is that true? I've always wanted that. Never. Never? I've never been arrested in Salt Lake. Only been arrested in Austin, Texas. Something. That's what's up, man. I was, I was drunk as hell and I called him who what I thought was a security cop, a fake-ass cop. He turned out to be a real cop. I'm just saying, y'all, in Austin people, y'all need to tell your uniform people to change their motherfucking shit because they look too much like a security guard to me. I'm like, wait a minute, homeboy. Stop following me around. Stop following me around. Fuck you. Fuck you, you punk-ass security cop. He was like, oh, no, that's it. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. I was like, no, nah, I'm on my way. I tried to drop the fucking cab driver like an extra 20 bucks. Like, just go. Just go. Just go. He was like, nah, no, sir, that is a cop. That is a police officer, sir. You must, I must stop for a minute. I was like, oh, man, fuck you. And I got out and got arrested. And then I had some weed on me, so I got pinched for that, too. It was only a joint. I just had a joint. It was in my pocket. But I was being cool with him. I could. I was stupid, you know. I was too drunk. I could have just like slid this weed out, dropped it into my homie's lap, cause he didn't get arrested. I did, and I didn't even think about it. I was, you know, too drunk. By the time they had me in cuffs, that's when I was sobered up. It was like, damn, I got that joint in my pocket. <laughs> Clown. Hey man, I was fucking at just wanted to say man, uh, on 420 this year, you came to Tucson, Arizona, and I just, I want, I wanted to know what was the real reason why you made it to Tucson instead of everywhere else in the USA, brother? Tucson, they've been trying to have me come down there like a couple of times. They asked me to come down there last year, and I didn't get a chance because I was somewhere else. So, I, you know, they were like, hey, we want you to come down for sure. And I was like, all right, I'm definitely there. You know what I mean? It's like whenever anybody asks me to be there, I'm trying to be there, you know, straight up. It's like that's what it is. They booked me, and then by the chance of that, they were like, oh, well, they want to book you in Phoenix too or Tempe. So, like, okay, cool. Then I went down there and did two shows. So it was the shit. The 420 show was off the hook, though, for real. It would have been nice to have some weed. And I know how shitty it is out in Arizona with weed right now. That's fucked up, straight up. My homie got pulled over and got fucked up. They searched his shit, and he had a motherfucking hatchet man tattoo, so now he's moving back to the Detroit just because, because they're fucking, they got him on that list, that gang list, just because of his hatchet man, straight up. What up, Blaze? What up? Hey, you talked about uh, last house on last house on Dead Street shit. Is there yep. like a time frame? <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out how I want to do it. I mean, I might end up having to be able to. I could put this stuff together and just bring it as a tour exclusive, and it might not even be called that. It's like there's some songs on there that are like maybe a last house on dead street style then there's a bunch of songs on there that are so gang rags so hardcore that they were kind of like maybe you need to wait on those because they're more what you were saying maybe i'm going too close to being a gang so i was like okay well i'll hold these back let's redo this and i redid the whole record and sat with mike clark and, and jay and redid the whole record and, and i made brand new everything so I had, you know, I got a whole record sitting back there. Yeah, so I just got to figure out how I want to do it. Am I bringing it out on tour with me? Or, you know, do they want me to wait till next year and put this record out? You know, how how is it going to work? You know what I'm saying? Hey, one more thing. Uh, when you were in West Dundee, uh, I was up front. And I was smoking that blunt. Hell yeah. And then that fucking security guard came and snatched my ass right before he played Escape Artist. He pulled you out? Uh, hey, would you... We want to hit this? Bring it up, I'll smoke it. I'll hit it. What was up? I heard somebody said a question over here just a minute ago. What'd you say? When can I go back? To, I'm trying to go back to Dallas sometime, hopefully with Twisted. Cause I'm going out with Cottonmouth Kings for like, I'm going out with them for like uh, eight or nine days or something, maybe just after the gathering for a little bit. 
and then I'm going out with Twist in like uh, November, something like that. Because I, you know, I I didn't want to miss that last tour. That was that fucking sucked for me just as much as it sucked for y'all. I really wanted to go out there. It's been years since I've been out on tour with Twist, you know. Huh? I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. We got a question out here, Blaze. Yo, where you at? Yeah, we over here on your left. Right here. Right here.